Hello, my friends. Jacob is here once again. Thank you for pressing play. Happy Tuesday to you. I'm glad that you're here because we got some things to talk about. I'm coming to you from the space set. That's right, because we're talking about space, baby. You know, I said that 2019 is the year for Planet Nine, right? I called it. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm putting it out there. I'm going to say it because I think that the news is coming in. Well, over the holiday weekend. Happy, uh, happy Easter, happy whatever you were going through. I know that um, holidays can be an interesting, challenging time, but they were awesome, weren't they? Really, regardless of what happened, even if Aunt Helen was all like, I'm not doing that crazy YouTube stuff. I don't understand it. Not saying I even have an aunt named Helen, because I don't, but you know, you can have uh, the divisions in a household, right? Religion is, uh, <laughs> It's a uh, shady topic, just like politics. It's, uh, Google won't even touch it. That's right, they didn't even do a little Easter doodle. And there was a lot of, uh, kind of fake news, right, as they say, going around that supposedly they've done it for others and they don't do it for this and that. It doesn't matter. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. Who cares? As if Google is, uh, you know, as if Google cares, they got rid of the do not be evil. That was their slogan. They got rid of their, you don't think, ah, listen, it doesn't matter. Let's talk about this show. Are you buckled up for space? Good. I really missed you all. I did. I gotta tell you, it's weird when, uh, when I don't get to come on here and, cause I feel like I'm talking to you. I am talking to you. Hi. How you doing? How you been? Missed you. Missed you at the live stream. Why didn't you subscribe and share and do the stuff and why don't you show up? Because you weren't notified? Okay, click the bell and then you'll be notified, hopefully. So in the time that I was off, I, uh, I read this interesting article. It had said that there was an asteroid strike that, uh, that cracked down, right? 2014. And what was weird about this was that it was said to have been caused by an exoplanet. Exoplanet, you say? It sounds a lot like there could be some kind of a solar system moving in that could be hitting all sorts of space rocks. I've talked about this. I'm not gonna go into the whole, you know, Nibiru, Planet Nine, Nercopolis. I'm not, I have plenty of videos on that. I got a playlist, check them out if you need to find out more. But I've been talking about this, this uh, planet, this planet, this, you know, this thing, this massive body, this heavenly body that's supposed to be coming in and probably already is in according to a couple of reports in the solar system already. Remember Oumuamua, the, uh, the visitor from afar a little while ago, the first interstellar visitor from afar that slingshot around? There was a guy, he was a uh, Harvard guy, smart guy, right? Head of astronomy or something. The chair, the chair chair of astronomy over at there at Harvard. Avi Loeb's his name. He said that that was most likely an alien craft, right? So that's what he was saying, that it was a probe. Obviously, Avi, he, uh, he thinks, he probably believes in the Anunnaki. He probably is down there with us right now thinking about the same thing, that something may be coming in. And if something was coming in, then what would happen is, as it's coming into this orbit, it would kind of catapult stuff and bring stuff. had these heavenly bodies that have come in from uh, other universes, right? Other, not our solar system, but other ones. Why? Why? Well, it could be that there's something coming in that the, uh, you know, has been around for, it's like one of the oldest religions, one of the oldest myths, one of the oldest... So 
when these interstellar visitors would come in, they, because they're from uh, another part of town, right? Way far out of our solar system. That would be an explanation. That would be a reason. And this guy, Avi Loeb, for the first time, I knew they were going to say something like this. For the first time, he's saying that it is due to an exoplanet that from another solar system, that this meteor, this asteroid came in from another solar system. Very, very cool, right? Loeb and um, his partner on this, they used a different method for looking at the evidence of interstellar objects. And what they basically came to find out is, is that in 2014, because they used math, Right? That's, it's, people are smart. They use math and algorithms to track it. So if something came in from another solar system, what would happen is it would be sped up. It would go at a, 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 a much more significant speed. So they tracked it and they found that in 2014, we had one. It's laid a smack down into our atmosphere and into, I think it's landed in the sea. But this is interesting. You know, and it was just published because this lends a lot of credibility to the fact that, yes, maybe there are things heading our way. Yes, maybe that's why Jap Japan's Hayabusa, right? They just released the footage of it, you know, dropping that little projectile explosive into that asteroid because they're all trying to study the effects of this. NASA's DART program, which is coming out, what, 2022? the double asteroid redirection test. They're gonna crash two spacecrafts into an, uh, an asteroid to measure the uh, reaction to it. They're interested. They think something's coming. They're not saying it because they think it would cause a panic. Whereas I think it's gonna make things very, very exciting over the next five to 10 years. Because I mean, we're gonna start hearing more and more about it. So be ready to hear about this Planet Nine. It explains a lot. It explains why you got Israel trying to get, they crashed into the moon, I've done shows on this. It explains why China's on the far side of the moon. It explains why a lot of stuff, from all the telescopes going down to the glitches out there, there's something going on. I don't know if it's Space Wars, but I'm excited about it. I had to do this show because I just, I just had to get it out to you. I know it's Tuesday, it's supposed to be the Tuesday show, but I haven't been feeling well. Oh, you can probably tell my voice, I'm tired. And, uh, but I'm excited because this week I got some interesting things to talk to you all about. So, oh, hang on a second, I forgot something. I got this at the dollar store. Peace. Thought that it would be just, I just, you know, thought it'd be a cool little. Peace, hope you all have peace. And I hope you all have the best day ever. And no, I don't sell this, I only Uranus mugs. That's, that's all I, that's all I have to support the channel. So Uranus, if you want. You know, you can drink from it, coffee and stuff like that. Thank you for um, supporting the channel. Thank you for being cool. Thank you for telling all your friends about us. Um, and by us, I mean me. And, um, and that's it. I hope you have the best day ever. I love you all. I miss you all. Don't forget, there's more to life. <laughs> there's more to life than you know. It's happening out there. It's also happening in here. Get connected to it. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Jacob Israel. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and share this channel around. If these shows have helped you, help Jacob to reach more any way you can and have the best day ever.